Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing how to build AI ML apps. Specifically, the one that extracts data from a grocery store receipt. Before we begin, I will demonstrate a quick demo on how to build such an app. It's very straightforward, so you guys don't need to learn anything. It's just easy and fast. So let's get right into it. So our task is to extract data from such an image from a grocery store bill. Let's take Costco's bill, for example. We want to build an app that will read the bill and convert the data values into a text file. As humans, we can easily interpret what the bill is about. We can understand things on the bill, but machines can't do this. So we have to make them think like humans. In tech industry, this is typically called a use case with a definite input, output, and a well-defined process to be done. So there are four steps in this process. First, we have to input the image, which is grocery store bill from Costco. Step one is to place this in a folder. Step two is to write a code to extract data from the image. So instead of writing the algorithm and training the machine ourselves, we just use a service, AI ML service, which does the work for us. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel and train the machine model. So the elephant in the room is extracting letters from the image, which will be taken care of by a ready-made service. And step four is to get the output. So the AML service does the heavy lifting for us. So we don't have to work and we just call this function in our code to run. So I prefer to use AWS services, Amazon Web Services for this task as it offers many services for AI tasks, including AWS S3 Bucket, which is just a fancy name for a folder. And we are using Python to code and Lambda function to run the code. And we call Textract, the AWS service, which extracts data from an image and dumps it into a file. Each use case has multiple steps and we have the technology to handle them. In software ser terminologies, we call these stories. So if we hadn't used the AWS service, and if we had created and trained the model, it would take thousands and thousands of data images that defines each letter of the alphabet and the numbers, and it would take multiple months or if so years complete the process instead we just we just use the ready-made service to make our life easier let's use this analogy for a second let's talk about car manufacturers they are just responsible for assembling parts they don't have to make anything all they all they do is buy spare parts from vendors and they just assemble them to get a finished product this is just like most app builders. Most app builders use services provided not only by AWS, Amazon, but also Google and other fancy tech companies. Let's take Lex for example. If you want to build a chatbot like Siri or Alexa, we use Lex, Amazon Lex, which is the backbone of these applications. Siri and Alexa are just faces of this product, Amazon Lex. This is a service provided by AWS, which basically acts as a chatbot. So if you say you want to build a banking chatbot, so we just use the service and we just customize it accordingly. So similarly, we have Amazon recognition, which recognizes objects in an image, such as cars, buses, and bikes. These, the following are just a few common examples of AWS services, but there are thousands and thousands in their databases, just like these. Building an app requires order. If I want to write a function using Lambda, we start by creating input and output folder, folders. I would create two S3 buckets, one for input and one for output, and in between them, I invoke the service using Python and Lambda. So the service 
which is already provided by AWS, would just be called in our function. This would be my complete AI application. And this would be the case for most of simple applications. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.